Good day everyone. This video will be very useful for people owning the DJI Spark with a broken camera module. So I flew my Spark into a tree. I'm definitely not a pro in flying these machines. <laughs> so the drone fell down from a significant height and the camera module broke. It was hanging loose just with wires and it appeared to be the gimbal motor which keeps the camera level during the flight snapped its fixing in half from where it's secured to the drone's chassis. I ordered the replacement part from eBay and repaired the drone. It was an easy fix for me, but after putting it all back together, turning the drone on, the camera stays crooked in a tilted position and needs calibration. It just wanted to stay like that and then come to the horizontal position. Yeah, so it needs it needed some calibration. So I went on the internet and tried to look for a solution, which I did find and used to calibrate the camera module and it is fixed now. It's an easy process. If you will follow my steps, you can easily get it done. So let's start. Now to successfully get this done, we need some things on our computer before we start. First of all, we need the DJI Assistant. So just Google that, DJI Assistant, and um, you will be directed um, to, you can find the site for the download and for Windows, just download and install the DJI Assistant. What with this, what this will do is uh, it will install all the drivers on your computer to successfully interact with the drone when it's connected. Next, what we need is the Python language. So just search with Python download and select the first link on Google and download the latest version for Windows. Here it says, and there's the download button and just click on this button and install the software. Next, what we need is um, the firmware for calibration. So just go to github.com and um, just search on the top right section with DJI Spark and you'll get the first link where, where we need to go. So it says DJI Firmware Tools, click on that. Then you'll have a right uh, green button in the right top section, or in the right middle section. You click on that and download a zip file. So store this zip file in a, in a, in a folder where you, you know it's located and um, the best one, the best thing to do is just create a folder in the C drive. I've created one with Spark and I've got all my stuff here. Next thing we need is um, PY Serial. So just click on, just search PY Serial. That's P-Y-S-E-R-I-A-L and click on the second link which says PY Serial dot P-Y-P-I. And um, there's a download file section and just click on the the second link which is py serial 3.4.tar.gz and download this file in the same folder now i've got all my files in the spark folder which is just in the c drive just and what we need to do is extract this py serial um, and have all these files ready the first thing we need to do is install the py serial and it's it's it it needs python to install it so as you have installed you must have installed python in the previous step what we need to do is um open command prompt using administrator rights there we go and what we'll do i'll just zoom on this window so you can see the code over here so to install the py what we'll need is the location of the file so i'll just copy that and go back to command prompt type in cd space right click paste and enter so now we are in the folder of py serial and um after you've installed the Python software, the keyword pi will work. So what we need to do is use the 
set up file which is this one setup.py and type it your here py and click on in i mean type it install and hit enter this will install it says finish processing dependencies for py serial 3.4 this means that py serial is in installed now what we'll do is um we'll connect the drone with um connect the drone um, with the micro usb at the back to the computer so put my camera back okay, should be good now all right so once it's connected we'll turn it on so i've just turned the drone on and um you can hear the noise probably the sound and i think it's installing all these all the drivers now now what we need to do is after installing py serial we'll go back to um from there copy the link and um, just hit CD and right click paste and enter so now we are in the folder um, of the firmware and the file we need to use is actually this one so I'm just gonna copy the name just like with that and leave it be go back to this now what we need to do is type py type in the name of the file not py and find out what com port is your um, drone connected to your computer so you just got to go into device manager and go into the ports section and you'll see the dji i've got it at com 12 so you might have it at com 8 or 10 or whatever so just type in the number com 12 12 is for me so you might have a different um, number next we have to type in the name for our drone so it's park and type in gimbal calib so i think this means gimbal calibration but you gotta make sure that g is capital and c is capital and the next term will be joint course again j capital c capital so as soon as I hit enter, it will start calibration. So I'm just gonna hit enter, and here we go. So that's doing the calibration, and that's how it looks on the command prompt screen. The set result pass, and that's it. It's done. It's done, I mean, it's not done completely. It's done with what it was doing for this step. <laughs> Next, what we gotta do is use the same command just um, at the end. So how I brought this command, just, just tap on the up arrow and it will bring the last command. Now, we get back to the same command, just, the, just at the end, instead of join course, we type linear hall again l capital h capital now as soon as i press enter it will start working and you can see it wants to do something for calibration there we go so linear hall i think is the calibration for um moving the camera in the vertical position in the vertical line and um the joint course was probably the left right um thing 
All right, so it says this is passed and everything's everything is done. I think it's ready to go. So just connect it with your phone or the remote you've got, uh, the controller, and go fly. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll make more tutorial videos and get better. Sorry for the shaky camera. And yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.